Hi, I'm Jarrett Wen, Executive Vice President of the Panasonic. Today, a couple of things are happening. First, we're taking a step forward in the scale deployment of connected vehicle or Vita X technology across the state of Colorado in partnership with CDOT. And the second, in partnership with Qualcomm Technologies and Ford Motor Company, we're displaying for the first time applications and use cases of connected vehicle technology using CVDX or cellular Vita X. Let's go take a ride. For today's demonstrations, we're using this Ford F-150, which is equipped with cellular V2X or CV2X technology. We also have three roadside units, which are also cellular V2X, CV2X equipped. And what that allows is not only vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, but vehicle-to-infrastructure communication, as well as infrastructure back to the vehicle. We'll also show you footage from the Traffic Management Center from my colleague Chris Armstrong, which is really the triangulation of all of this information that is not only coming out of this vehicle, the roadside units, and into a Traffic Management Center to make real-time decisions. Hi, my name is Chris Armstrong, and I'm a director for Smart Mobility at Panasonic, and I want to welcome you to the Network Operations Center, or as we call it, the NOC. This is where we can monitor all of the roadways connected with cellular VDX technology. Here, roadway operators can use infrastructure to collect connected vehicle data, or V2I communication, and create situational awareness from this data. We use one key type of data called the basic safety message, which allows us to collect vehicle position, speed and heading, as well as weather segment data from inputs like windshield wiper status from many different vehicles. We are really excited to help bring this new technology to the state of Colorado. Thanks for joining us today.